I've seen in my professional life so many lives lost just because they don't have a period organ available. Uh, almost like 150,000 people lose their life in a year in the United States. You can calculate uh, uh, how many more throughout the world. Millions lose life just because their organ is not available. If this uh, technique is successful, I'd be able to save almost all of them. I came to United States in like 1992. After finishing my residency in Pakistan, my goal was to become a cardiothoracic surgeon. So I joined a fellowship uh, at the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia for that purpose. My mentor at that time sat me down and asked me, would you be interested in working on something that may change the entire you know, scenario of transplantation and will help millions of people and no one will, will die without mm. the organ transplant. My mother used to make me garden. It was like kind of forbidden in our home. My father and brother are hunters, so they used to hunt wild boars and uh, the interior sin and all, but this was a big no-no in my mm -hmm. family. I, I consider myself to be a religious person. I try to follow all the tenets of Islam. So that concern was in the back of my mind all the time. I investigated, I asked several people all over the world about it, and the final consensus was, you know, there's nothing bigger than saving mm -hmm. life of a human. There are many scientific reasons. We have explored every other organ. And, and since I, I live in a country where they consume pork on a regular basis, it was not a, an ethical issue here in the Western world. The genetic uh, information we have on pig is all available. We know that we have manipulated the genes of these pigs in a way that becomes a little bit closer to human in terms of immunology. This cocaine is part of a solution that comes from Sweden. This solution was uh, invented by a doctor who made a cocktail with a lot of hormones and uh, drugs. The cocaine name pops out because, you know, everybody thinks, oh my God, what cocaine is doing? But uh, for some reason, even this inventor doesn't know what exactly that cocaine is doing, but it helps in preservation of the heart. When we were not using this solution, we were getting failure within 48 hours. But uh, when we started using this solution and perfusing the heart with the solution, that heart is well preserved and then it beats very well. We have to stay on top of rejection. Uh, uh, we think that we have passed the stages of rejection that we feared the, the most that was on the on the uh, table or within a couple of days uh, which we call hyperacute rejection or uh, we also call PCXD, perioperative cardiac xenograft dysfunction. We have not seen that in this patient. Uh, he continues to do well. His heart function, which we monitor uh, uh, by echocardiography, uh, is, is, uh, is excellent. And his heart is squeezing uh, uh, very well. Uh, and um, we are also looking at uh, a lot of markers uh, uh, to ma manage his, uh, his immunosuppression.